This video is provided for informational purposes only. The contents of this video cannot substitute for proper training under and implementation of industry standards applicable to servicing and testing of electrical equipment. You must carefully review and follow OSHA, NFPA, and other regulatory requirements, equipment manufacturer's instructions, and your company's safety procedures when conducting any testing or servicing of electrical equipment. The demonstrations in this presentation were performed by trained professionals in a controlled environment. Do not attempt to induce an arc fault, arc flash, or any other condition that could potentially damage electrical test tools or equipment, or otherwise create any increased risk of personal injury. It happens so quick, you, it's hard to describe. I think I was able to get my eyes closed and my head tipped back. Melted my glasses to my face. The burns were such that I had about a 50-50 a chance of surviving. We were changing out a breaker in an eyeline panel board. I verified that, that the wires were dead. I took them loose, safed them off. I was racking the breaker out, and one of those wires had come down, swung into the breaker. When I pushed it back, it apparently was just enough to finally wear through the insulation on a small control lead. That shorted out, and then it was enough to melt big conductors together, which was a major explosion. It took a long time, but we identified where this little control wire had shorted out on the inside of a cover. Several years earlier, they brought in a four inch conduit and they had to pull the cable into this, this panel. Well, when they put it back, they didn't put those unfused control leads inside that channel where it would have been protected. And in that room, a generator tested every week for about an hour. And there was a subtle vibration, of course, over a period of time, that was enough to, to wear through that insulation on that control wire. While you can't totally eliminate the dangers of working with electricity, with careful planning and applying what you've learned here today, you can reduce them. On behalf of everyone at Fluke Corporation, thank you for watching.